To celebrate the release of Burning Crusade Classic, Blizzard asked us to build Illidan's iconic Twin Blades of Azanoth. I started my time in Azeroth during Burning Crusade, so I have a real love for the original model in all of its 2007 glory, but we opted to specifically build the updated key art. Those extra pixels really give us a ton more to play with. It was really important for the blades to be hollow, so we could light them from inside. We settled on a method called slush casting. This is where we pour resin into a mold and slush it around so it forms a hollow casting as it sets, and it took a lot of testing before we settled on the perfect translucent resin. We made a mold and then Oren took over casting all the blades. He did an epic job. Whilst I was busy slush casting, Claire set about making moulds and casting an exquisite batch of resin gems. From there, she painted, well, everything, and began the lengthy task of gilding all the filigree in 24 karat gold. Claire had the brilliant suggestion of using galaxy projector mechanisms to give us rippling fell energy. The biggest challenge on the project was engineering the blades. They needed to be extremely durable for travel. Hollow, lightweight, translucent. Also really, really big. It was a heck of a challenge, but worth it for such an iconic Warcraft weapon. Burning Crusade was the expansion that forged my love for Warcraft, and the Black Temple was my defining raid. Every week, Illidan would point those warglaives at our raid and yell, You are not prepared! And I always sat there thinking, those would be so cool to make. So this project was a total dream come true. <laughs> 